Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a 400 subscriber q and I'm answering your 500 subscriber questions, which is admittedly a little bit late. I have about 12 questions right here that I'm gonna be answering that you either sent me on Instagram and or YouTube comments. So uh, I will be answering those while actually repotting a philodendron that you have already seen last time I repotted for a Q&A. My philodendron gloriosum once again. You may remember this from last time when I repotted it from water to leka. It's done absolutely amazing and I finally have some amazing roots and I also have some very beautiful leaves starting to come out of here. So this is the latest one and this is the leaf before it. As you can see, these are absolutely gorgeous. Also, I just want to repot this before I actually start losing these new roots because I want to actually repot it. So what are we going to be potting this into, you might ask? And I got this for four euros and it's going to be very good because there's actually a lot of roots in here and I have some fresh boiled leka that I'm gonna be potting this into. So the first one is, have you ever killed a Calathea? Actually, yes, multiple. I actually like collected them. I had a ton of Calatheas, like 13 different species. And they were like one of my favorite, like they were probably my favorite genus for a long time. And then I don't know what happened. They just kind of started dying. And then I just stopped buying them, I guess, because they're kind of all dying. I have a Worshuixii in my humidity bin that's barely alive. And I have one left in my terrarium that's also just very tiny. That's kind of what I'm working with, to be honest. I don't have... No, the others are kind of just dead, to be honest. So that's that's kind of it. Favorite plant genus? Philodendrons, 100%, because it's just full of different colors, textures, sizes, shapes. Like, you get everything. With Anthurium, let's say, you can get some very nice ones, but there isn't, like, this diversity. I don't know. I just really, really love Philodendrons, and I've really gotten into them this year, which I'm very, very excited about. Would you rather grow only bonsais or orchids? Bonsais. Bonsais because I never really had a proper bonsai like I had okay I need to show the roots first these are all the roots and these are also these are roots right and there's just the roots everywhere so I think it's okay to repot it at this point let's get back to the bonsai so I actually really really love bonsais and just the entire technique of growing them um and orchids I always despise like when I talk about orchids I'm very passionate about my hate for them because they're just overrated houseplants and I think people are giving them too much credit. They're boring and they only bloom and then they're cool, but otherwise they're really not that cool. And that's all that I wanted to say about it. These are the pretty, these are the pretty roots that this plant has and I will have to remove these pieces of string first. So yes, definitely bonsais to finish on that theme. If you could only choose three plant YouTubers to watch, who would they be? Number one, Kaylee Allen. Kaylee Allen, she is my favorite plant YouTuber. She has been doing just a lot of very amazing content for so long. I think now she's kind of slowing down it. Could either be that she's just really busy or she just wants to chill a little bit. Either way, I get it and it's completely understandable. Like, YouTube can really... Take a toll on you right and it's okay but i really love just her style and her her plants and her videos that's just it number two now this is kind of hard because i have a list of plant youtubers somewhere oh uh, give me a second it should be right here actually i wrote them down because i was going to make a video ranking my favorite plant youtubers and now i don't know this is my wish list this is something else I will look at my subscriptions again to get the correct names and I'll insert this right now. Kaylee Ellen, as I already told you all, she has always dealt with like rare plants and it has always been a rare plant channel. She does just a lot of these showing you new plants from imports and all of these cool things. She de debunks myths and stuff like that. She's really cool. She made a huge documentary on her 
rare plant shop and it's incredible i've watched it four times <laughs> but uh, that's she's my favorite plant youtuber and then we have the canola planta so kevin grows like most of his plants in pure leca and uh, hydroponics and he does a lot of these like before and after videos where basically he does a whole journey of the plant in his care so he shows like the old videos and he shows how it's grown now and uh, just i have been watching him for a long time now i kind of stopped admittedly admitted ab admitted uh, i'm admitting i kind of stopped watching him now but just because I don't really watch that much plant YouTubers again, but I used to watch him. Look, this is kind of video, his huge Monstera type installation, and just he does a lot of things. So he really is one to strive to be like. Then we have Nick Alexander because, okay, so he doesn't post regularly at all. Like if we look at his uploading schedule three months ago, eight months ago, 11 months ago. But when he does make a video, they're always just so funny and they're also just he has a type of humor that I I really like get and it's also a lot of educational stuff between this humor and this is why I love him so much. And that's 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 for my top three. There is so many more that I used to watch or I do watch, but these are just the three that I had to choose. I'm sorry. Nothing to ask. I just love your channel. Uh, thank you so much. I know who you are and I really appreciate all the support. And yes, it just makes me really happy that someone is excited to see my videos. That's really an incredible feeling. You, you don't even know. Okay, these are from YouTube. Do you own a bleeding heart plant or Lampro Capnos? spectabilis no actually i have never heard or even like kind of seen that plan before i got this comment i don't own it it looks more of an outdoor plant i think maybe i'm getting this wrong but i'm gonna insert a photo from instagram a it's a oh my god it's a flowering plant that's why it's not really for me i see why people like it because it is pretty i'm not gonna lie it's pretty, but it's not a type of plant for me exactly, so I wouldn't actually get it. I lost one miniature root, so that's incredible for me. How did you learn how to crochet and knit? Um, there was a... Okay, first of all, I went to the library a lot and I got all the books from Crochet of... I got all the books that teach you how to crochet and knit and I read those all the time and then there was a co-worker of my mom's that actually taught me like I think basic, basic crochet and then a, a neighbor of my grandma she taught me how to knit knitting in a row and then just kind of by myself I got the hang of it throughout the time it's been like like probably like eight nine years almost then i don't even know but i've been crocheting for longer than i've been knitting if anybody is interested into that information what are your favorite plants in general honestly i'm going to do like a video on that probably i'm gonna do also a favorite plant out of each genus which is going to be kind of interesting really but at the moment my all-time favorite has to be a melanochrysum, you know. You know, I put it in almost all of my videos and it's just a plant that I think everyone needs to at least see once in their life. Like, if you don't own the melanochrysum, like, you at least need to see one in person and, like, give it a little touch because they're just worth it. And they are worth the little struggle to keep the nodes growing aerials and all of that so i think to me they are 100 percent worth it look at these roots this is incredible and this is just a plant right now it grows very much like a little i don't know how to call it but you, you see what i mean and i'm just gonna spread their roots out like like a little bit like this because for now they've been standing in water the bottom ones have been standing in water which is nutrient solution right but now i actually want to have them just covered in leca and see where this brings me. If this field engine dies, it's definitely my fault for repotting it right now. I'm shaking it around because I want the roots to kind of be dispersed, but I'm not doing a very good job at it. 
this is a huge upsize from this pot but honestly the diameter is kind of the same and we really are going in height because i really want the aerial roof to stay covered that's the only reason I'm actually repotting this and because I didn't want the roots to grow fully in water. It looks really, really pretty. It's going back in my humidity bin because I already shocked it by transplanting it while... What? Transplant? I already shocked it by repotting it right now. If I take it out of the humidity, it's going to get even more shocked and I don't want to do this right now. So, so next is how old are you and what's your native language? Where are you from? I am 16, I'm going to be 17 next month, so I'll see you. I am from Slovenia and I speak Slovene, that's my that's my first language. But yes, I definitely love just speaking English and, you know, having this connection to people from other parts of the world because I just really enjoy, like, talking and I really enjoy the fact that people can understand when I'm talking. Are there many plant people where you're from? Actually, there is quite more than I thought. Uh, I've been talking to a few on Instagram and also in Facebook groups that I'm now joining. Um, I've been into, there is a few like near me and there's a few more that I know from this, our entire country, you know, but yes, there's definitely people doing it and um, I love it. With that being said, this is the final product. I actually really, really love how this looks. It's so aesthetic, I just want to like leave it outside, but I'm not gonna do that because I know it's going to like decline fast. Pray that this survives because I did it once, let's do it again and let's actually grow this out to be a huge plant because that's what we are here for, aren't we? So I'll see you in the next one, goodbye! So this is how aesthetic this little vase looks. Uh, it's very bright so you can like see their functions, but it's so cute when these roots are just kind of around and they look so good when the little leka touches the sides and it's all wet. Uh, I love how beautiful these glasses are, like not just beautiful. And now let me show this actual leaf up close. This is the newest one and then one leaf before that. And this is the little root that I was talking about that is annoying and doesn't want to grow in, but it's going to grow in. And here we obviously have a new leaf incoming, which is going to be so pretty. Today is the second part of the video, which means I'm answering your 500 subscriber questions. They're like free. I will be repotting this sad alocasia silver dragon because as you can see, it's a little sad. It has probably has pests everywhere. Look, 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 I'm trying to hide, I'm trying to hide. There's pests. It's sad, but it has a bunch of these, a bunch of these babies. And if I just take them, they die, but probably has no roots because it looks so sad. I don't know, we'll see what happens with this. And the second one is also the same thing. It's root rot on this pretty, pretty Biliatia. Uh, pests, probably, yeah. As you probably cannot see, basically there was a lot of roots here, they're all root rotten, there is this one root. There is one root that is good, but I'm just gonna take it out today, put it in water I think, and we'll see what happens. I'll answer the few questions. I got nothing on my video asking you questions, which is cool. So we'll switch to my Instagram. My nose is really full and annoying, so I'm sorry about that. This was the question on my stories. And here we have the questions. So what's your first plant, your last plant, your favorite plant, and your least favorite plant? And how many plants do you have? <sighs> I always say that it's somewhere around a hundred in this room because I also have them in these greenhouse boxes. But like, I think there's around a hundred right now. What's your first plant? Oh, so these are the propagations from my first plant ever. So the golden pothos epipremnum amplissimum, no wait, epipremnum aureum. Uh, it's not doing the best right now. So this is like from, this are just propagations, but uh, they are, look how pretty these roots are. We have some pests, I have to take care of that. Mm. So this was my first plant, okay. What's the last plant I bought? Give me a second, I literally forgot. Uh, I think... I don't know how to use this camera yet. 
this Stramanthi Trio Star, uh, Stramanthi Sanguinea, and as you can see, the backs are pink. I did buy one for a friend of mine, and I was like, let's try this one again. This is the last one I bought. What do you want to go to college for? Like, what kind of college do you want to go? Uh, I was thinking in kind of the art side. There is, like, there is a college in Slovenia that is basically focused on everything arts. I was thinking of going something like maybe drawing or photography or videography. I have no clue, but I still have a lot of time to get there. So I don't think that's really a problem for now, but I'm thinking more like art. Oh, I love the fact that I just answered all the questions without doing anything to these. So uh, what I will do is just unpod these and just show you what I'm left with, what I'm done, and uh, I'll be right back. <sighs> I'm not touching the screen, this, this costs too much. So this is what we're currently working with. I have these two roots that are mostly fine. This one is a little bit rotten at the, the end right here. If it stopped, okay. Yes, and then we have this one, which is actually like good. Looks like Leka is doing fine for this. But we have a bunch of little roots that still have to start rooting on the stem. So what I will do is I will go ahead and cut it right here. Okay, uh, how do I cut it without like... ah? Uh, okay, so we're left with this leaf and then this, which is probably not gonna make it. Probably guys just gonna die. But there is a tiniest growth point on the side that you might not be able to see. It's fine, it's fine. And this is what's left of the plant. Now let's move on to my alocasia. I don't know what to do with this otherwise. Yeah, I don't know. I'll deal with this later, actually. Ha. Maybe I have COVID. I don't smell anything. Probably gonna move this one to Lekka also because this now has zero roots. Now it has zero roots. <laughs> Look, no, no, that's bad. Uh, I need to shower this. This is full of trips. It's the story of my life. But yeah, this is kind of funny. Look at this. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy. Bye bye.